four, an L.A. artist is thrilled that his bold portraits are getting nationwide attention this week, including a display in Times Square, but not for the reasons you might think. NBC4's Gordon Tsukamatsu met the man whose real mission is to stop Asian hate. Jonathan Chang says, first and foremost, he wants his portraits to grab your attention and get you to ask questions. Who are these people? Why did he draw them? Why are they going viral? on social media. I kind of don't want to make this about me. We met him in a park and agreed not to show his face because he wants the art to speak for itself, to start conversations he believes still need to be had. Why? Because pandemic-related Asian hate is still out of control in America. These are about the victims. Read their names, read their stories. Michelle Goh, his portrait of her draws you in, as accessible as the bright smile on her face, until you discover what happened to her last week in New York pushed in front of a train by a complete stranger. Michelle Goh is like a working professional. She's 40 years old, and her whole life was just, you know, taken from her just like that. Scroll further down Jonathan's Instagram feed, and you'll see Vicha Ratanapakti, 84 years old, a Thai American, whose brutal attack happened in broad daylight in San Francisco a year ago. That really, like, you know, angered me. It was one of Jonathan's first efforts. On the advice of a friend, a way to channel his emotions into something that makes people pay attention to these tragedies. He's never considered himself a fine artist, but his skills as a commercial illustrator are great for catching your eye, then pulling your attention toward the bigger issue. These people are innocents, victimized by a narrative that too often leads to violence. He calls his style easily digestible, but it gets the job done. People do you know, comment on my post and say, I had no idea this is happening. I live in the same area. Days ago, the portraits appeared on the massive billboard above Times Square, part of the ongoing campaign to fight Asian hate. He told us that's great, but not because it's a career boost or gets him noticed. The whole Asian community, we're connected and we all do care about this. You know, if I can, you know, inspire at least one person, I mean, that's all worth it. In Burbank, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.